All right, guys, here at Hotel Figueroa, and here is a look at my junior suite. When you come in, there's this little walkway here. I have my bags here. This is the Calpax bag, which is amazing. And my Reeve Gauche, you guys know I travel with this all the time. And my brand new Brandon Blackwood bag, which is a black owned handbag designer. I will link all of those down below. But to the left, we have this little area, which is cute. It's like a closet. I have an iron, a safe. I think that's a little fridge down there. It's very nice. And then we come here into a living area which has a couch very plush a nice rug a beautiful motif coffee table a really cool lamp a big piece of artwork here and a leather chair look at the ceilings they're like gilded wood is really cool and then we have a TV here and a little desk if I want to do some work I love all of these little touches with the leather and the dark wood a lot more moody than the line hotel which is where I usually stay we have an espresso machine some water coffee pods and everything you need there I also love the dark wood floors which is really nice and then over here, how nice is this bedroom? Loving this artwork. These ceilings are everything. And I'm loving the lamp fixtures as well. Everything in here is a lot more like masculine, which I like. We have a little eye port here to communicate. And I'm loving all of these dark wood pieces, including the nightstand. A lot of texture in here too. This bed is huge. This is definitely a king. This is actually their Junior King suite, which is nice. Lots of storage, which is great for me. I mean, this really just feels like a little apartment. And look at this archway here, separating the bedroom and the living room area. Also loving that there is a fan here, a huge window here, and of course, a full length mirror. You guys know, as a fashion girl, we got to have a full length mirror. It is a funny mirror, but a good mirror nonetheless. We have a window here with a pretty good view of downtown LA. Over here we do have another TV that we can watch from bed and I'm loving this farm style like sliding door that separates the bathroom. Now the bathroom sold me. Sorry it's going to be a little bit of an echo in here but how stunning. This backsplash, light fixture, this mirror is huge. Loving the light fixtures. It's a double vanity sink. And we have some Rome bath products. Uh, I'm getting so much inspiration like for my house in here. Like I'm loving it. Little towel rack there. Everything I need down here. Towels, blow dryer. Look how stunning these floors are too. Over here we have a stunning walk-in shower which is this beautiful like gray detailing the same backsplash continues in here has a beautiful overhead shower and handheld shower with a rock pebbled floor also super clean in here by the way and then over here we have a separate little area for the toilet and by the way this hotel smells absolutely incredible like i love this frosted glass with the matte black this is something that i want to incorporate into my own design with my townhouse so we'll we'll see if we get to do that here is my room at hotel figueroa
guys Monroe Steel here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another travel vlog do not forget to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion beauty lifestyle and travel videos so I am back with another LA vlog come with me to Los Angeles vlog I was actually just here back in May I celebrated an extended birthday here and also I came to help package up all of the something by Sanji Monroe Steel collaboration pieces if you guys are new here every spring summer and every fall winter I do a collaboration clothing line with my girl Sanji if you have never heard of Sanji Williams she has been on Project Runway twice she is a very wonderful and talented designer that I shopped previously I loved all her stuff and so during quarantine last year in 2020 I asked her if she wanted to do a quick like six seven piece collection with me and see how it does for fall so our first collection came out in October of 2020 it was a fall collection and it did so well that we decided to also do a spring summer collection in uh, I feel like March April of 2021 that collection did very very well it exceeded our expectations so we decided to do another fall winter collection this year and so that is why i am back in la we are looking for fabrics we're sourcing fabrics we already kind of know the pieces that we're going to have in the, the collection for fall winter which is going to come out around october by the way so mark your calendars so you guys don't miss out on our clothing line and this is the first time i've actually been able to come with her to source fabric fabrics being that last year with everything going on traveling especially with like the restriction and with the restrictions in california just didn't really allow me to do that but happy that i'm here and i'm able to really help out with the clothing line we do still have a few pieces left from spring summer so if you're interested head on over to somethingbysanji.com and check out our previous collection so you can get a feel for it let's just say the next collection we're hoping that every single piece is going to be size inclusive so that's a big deal for us because we are very very small business everything is kind of one-offs that we create we use dead stock fabrics to like like help reduce waste and so we're really trying to be sustainable and and inclusive for everybody so very very excited about this as you guys can see i'm not in my normal locale normally when i come to la i usually stay at the line hotel in koreatown i love that hotel it's very industrial they have a great restaurant called open air that i visited with a few friends and had an amazing dinner they have great brunches there they have a nice coffee coffee shop downstairs the only thing is it is a little bit far from the fashion district and that is where Sanji and I are going to be walking around going to all of these fabric stores looking for fabric and I just did not want to be paying these uber prices because y'all know the ubers are hella expensive and so I am here I am staying at Hotel Figueroa in downtown LA pretty much very very close to the fashion district a few blocks away from Sanji's studio so that I can get there quickly and also not have to go super far when I'm like done for the day they actually have a bar there as well and kind of an indoor outdoor restaurant right in the front of the hotel and then they also have like a pool in the back with a vibe like I'm gonna go down there for dinner probably y'all I love it it's so cozy and like quaint and like a little home away from home and super close to where I need to be so let me go ahead and show you guys my travel outfit the earrings I am wearing are Jacquemus I am wearing my Monica Venator necklace I did a little haul of jewelry from Monica Venator previously I'll link some of my favorite pieces down below sustainable and super affordable I'm wearing my Cartier ring my Majuri stacker ring my Majuri bracelet my Cartier bracelet and this little diamond ring from Blue Nile the lip is Fenty Beauty unveil the nail polish is Zoya Katari it's like a beautiful chocolate brown now for my outfit I went with this rib two-piece set that I've had for a while I actually got this from Zara maybe last year and I never really wore it but when I travel on planes especially during the summertime I like to wear something a little bit heavier so this is a actually pretty thick knit crop top 
and matching skirt. I also had my jacket over top, my oversized blazer from Ann Other Stories. Oh, and let me show you guys the shoes. I just got these shoes yesterday. Today is Tuesday, June. 20th sunday i got a text message from my chanel essay asking me if i wanted to check out these brand new dad sandals that they just got in and i said yes y'all so right before i flew here <laughs> this morning well not before yesterday i went to chanel and i got these Ugh, aren't they stunning so these are another dad sandal and they are just quilted beauties they are denim they're like a almost like a grayish black denim and they have those beautiful flowers in blue peach purple on them they have the black leather bottoms of course these are velcro you can see the cc's all throughout these are a little more subtle i feel like the cc's aren't just like all over them everywhere but i also love the little cc here with the red and like what is it it's like yellow pearls and emeralds and i mean they're just stunning and like i put them on and i had to have them so normally in any like european made shoe i am a uh, 41 but again in the dad's handles i find that they run big so i always size down half a size i got these in a 40.5 and they fit perfectly i mean these are just so fun and just so my style and i love that now i have a black pair that I feel like will be better for fall or winter because the raffia pair that I have is definitely like summer. So I would love to have something a little more toned down for fall and winter, even though I'll probably be in Miami. So I can still definitely wear a sandal, but these will be more like appropriate. As you can see, I wore them all day today while traveling. And of course, the bag I'm carrying today is my Brandon Blackwood denim bag. He is a black bag designer and I absolutely love this bag. This is actually the only bag that I packed for this trip. I feel like it goes really well with my Chanel dad sandals because they're both denim. And this does have a, a twinge of blue in it as well. So that was my travel outfit of the day. I carried my cow pack marble luggage with my Saint Laurent Reeve Gauche as my carry-on tote. You guys know anytime I travel, I take that Saint Laurent bag because it can fit so much. I included it in my summer bags collection video that I previously did. So if you wanna see more of my bag collection, definitely check out that video next. And that is my outfit of the day. Anything that's still available, of course, I will link it down below in the description box for you guys. I'm pretty sure this set is sold out, but I will link similars in similar price points. I'm sure they carry one similar at Nasty Gal or Boohoo. All right, guys, because I'm so type A, as soon as I get to a hotel, I have to unpack. So I've already unpacked everything. But I do want to show you guys a few things that I brought that I don't think I've shown you before. All right, guys, so I think I brought more sunglasses than anything else <laughs> i'm not sure why but i do have a brand new pair of sunglasses i actually ended up getting these beautiful kind of like minty green gucci sunglasses originally i wanted these but i ended up getting these instead with the yellow tint and i'm so glad because i've worn these so much these are like a staple in my wardrobe. I love that I can always find them on Farfetch for a discount. Like normally they are like $550, which I just think is just astronomical for a pair of sunglasses. But these, I can always find them on Farfetch for like $325. They're always a little cheaper on the website. So if I can find a few pair of these that are cheaper, I will link them down below. They are so well made. And I just love these so much that I wanted a little variety and I ended up by purchasing these and they came right before my trip. So I'll try them on for you guys so you all can see what they look like. I perhaps might have a Farfetch coupon code. It is YT10 Monroe, I believe. I'll pin it in a comment and I'll put it in the description box if you guys wanna see if you could maybe get a discount on really anything from Farfetch or if you wanna try these sunglasses, but look. I love them. 
so these don't have the yellow tint but they still have that same classic square shape and they're oversized and i just love the color it's the color for me i mean i feel like for summer i'm gonna get so much wear out of these and i also love that these sunglasses do contain like a, a color that can kind of easily be pulled out of these new chanel sandals here it's a vibe y'all so these are new they come in and out of stock at farfetch so i will link them down below along with my coupon code and you guys can check them out or you can sign up for email alerts for when they come back in stock now in addition to these i also brought a pair of my in rota sunglasses which is a black owned business i don't know if i showed these to you i think i did show these to you guys in a previous vlog but these are like a gradient you can't really tell unless you're in the sun but they're kind of watercolor with gold trim and like little diamonds Ugh, i haven't even had a chance to wear these yet so i thought bringing them here to la would be perfect my girl sam started this black owned business i mean the sunglasses have been worn by everyone they're everything i will link her business down below if you're looking for some very fly sunglasses you can check her out so i think that's everything new my chanel sandals two new pair of sunglasses i'm gonna grab my bag my computer i'm gonna go ahead and head over to sanji's studio i need to post some sponsored content and i need to send a brand something and then we are going to head to the fabric stores so let's go Hey y'all, mm. I had to get some water cause I'm parched. So I am back from a very long day of 
looking at fabrics, going to fabric stores in the fabric district or in the fashion district. I went over to Sanji's, got a little work done, and then we really just headed out. We li literally just walked around the fashion district to maybe like six fabric stores. And I mean, some of these fabric stores are massive. I mean, three and four floors and basements full of rolls and rolls and rolls of fabric. It was just, it was a lot to take in, really. Like, I don't even know how she even did it, like, before, like, just by herself. It's so much tedious work. Yeah, we just walked all over. It's blazing hot in LA today, y'all. Like, the last time I was here, it was not this hot. I'm not gonna complain, though, because the last time I was here, it was cold. Tomorrow, we are going to a few more. We're probably gonna drive out to a few as well. We already have decided what we're making for the collection, like what pieces we're going to make. We've also kind of come up with the concept of how every piece will look. Again, it's gonna be a seven piece collection. Of course, we're gonna have dresses, we're gonna have pants, we're gonna have a little something cute for everyone. It's very tedious, y'all. We did come across a good amount of fabrics. Like we, we, we went in, we did some cutting, we got a lot of swatches, swatches of denim for our pant because we always do a pant every collection. I'm very excited with what we have so far. I think we got some pretty good fabrics. Very, very excited very very tired we were out there for at least four hours <laughs> let me know sound off down below in the comments like what kind of colors and fabrics are you guys thinking about for fall what what would you want to see from the collection who knows you could inspire us to do something a little different sound off below in the comments all right guys i'll check back in when i'm heading to get some food all right guys so it's a bit later in the day i did a little bit of work and now i'm gonna head down to get some food there's two places to eat here there's a place called cafe fig and la casita i think i'm gonna go to cafe fig because i might want to get the salmon i'm gonna just keep on my same outfit i think just grab my jacket it's actually a little bit cold and my phone i'm gonna have the same bag and head down to get some dinner All right guys, just got back from dinner. I went to Fig Cafe. It was really, really nice. I love the decor in there. They also have like a little bar downstairs as well, which was really nice. It was like popping down there. I ended up getting the salmon, which was absolutely delicious. I also got this cake. It is a blueberry lemon cake that they specialize in here. They have someone that comes and just only does their desserts and it was so so good i would highly recommend it if you come here for dinner or i think they also have it on their lunch menu as well so hopefully i'll get to try out the other restaurant here that's over by the pool maybe later in the week but right now i'm just gonna take off my makeup i've already started i'm actually using the chanel eye makeup remover right now to take off my eye makeup 
And then I'm gonna use the Naked Balm from Elemis to remove the rest of my makeup. And then I'm gonna do my skincare routine. But I will check back in with you guys tomorrow. I'm very tired, so I'm gonna call it a night. Tomorrow we're gonna do some more looking at fabrics for the fall collection. And so of course I'm gonna take you guys along with me for that. But so far, so good. I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Good morning everyone it is day two here in LA it is Wednesday July 21st this morning I woke up pretty early because I'm still on New York time I literally had to wait for the Sun to come up but since it's Wednesday I definitely had to get a YouTube video up and so I went ahead and did the description bo box for a Harlem vlog where I take you guys around Harlem with me. I went to a really nice African restaurant with my girl Vic, Taranga. Um, I had a date in Harlem. I did a little haul, so if you missed that vlog, watch that next. I also spent some time doing the thumbnail for that, and a lot of you asked, like, or a lot of you who are interested in YouTube ask, how do I create my thumbnails? I usually take professional photos in whatever outfit I'm gonna wear in the video. I go into canva.com, which is a free platform where you can make all kinds of things. You can make books, you can make eBooks, you can make cover photos, you can make thumbnails, like literally anything, kind of business brochure, book related, you can make on there for free, so. That's what I did. I got that video up. I watched a few other videos. I got my outfit together, took a shower, quickly just did my hair and makeup. Now I'm ready to start the day. It is about almost noon. I think I'm gonna head downstairs to one of the restaurants and get some lunch. And then I kind of want to go to a few luxury consignment stores that I've heard good things about here. So so I'm gonna take you guys with me and then I will probably meet up with Sanji so we can kind of elaborate more on fabrics maybe go to some more fabric stores kind of narrow down what we want to do with the fall collection I want to show you guys my outfit of the day all right guys so here is my outfit of the day sorry if this mirror is a little weird it's not like it's a funny mirror for sure but the top is nasty gal I got this in a recent haul. You guys know I love these little tops that look like scarves. This one is just an elastic one in black, which is great. This skirt is a high-waisted pencil skirt from ASOS. They actually sent this over. It's in this beautiful, like, beigey, kind of champagne nudie color. It has a little slit in the front. It's very high-waisted, which is nice. It really sucks you in, gives you a nice shape. Hopefully if this is still available, I'll link it down below. There is a front slit for the shoe. Still wearing my Chanel dad sandals because I know I'm gonna be doing tons of walking today. For the earring, I just popped on my Johanna Ortiz. I think this palm leaf um, earrings, which are really, really fun, very vacation-y. I think these are sold out, but if I can find similars, I'll link them down below. She makes amazing earrings. So that is today's look. Again, I only brought one bag, which is my Brandon Blackwood bag. So I'm gonna carry this today. And that is the full outfit of the day. I have linked everything down below that's still available. For the ASO skirt, I got my normal size, which is a US size six, UK size 10, fits perfectly. All right, guys, we're gonna grab these um, in Rhoda sunglasses for the day, I think. They go well with the look. 
let's spray on some perfume. And we're good to go. I'm gonna grab a mask, grab my phone, grab my charger, and we're gonna go ahead and get some food and then maybe do a little shopping, so. So I just got finished having lunch at the hotel. I didn't really enjoy the lunch. The tacos weren't that good. The drink was excellent though. The drink was a margarita and it was really good. So now I'm just gonna walk to Sanji's. I was gonna call an Uber, but it's too expensive and it's like right around the corner. So I'm just gonna walk, get some sun and enjoy. to head to the headquarters. It's a nice little five minute walk. I stopped at the bodega, bought myself some lottery tickets and some banana flavor now and laters. And now I'm ready to conquer to the day with this one. Oh wow, it's really, there we go. Hey y'all, just chilling. All right guys, so here's a little something. I didn't want to talk about it in the room because you're not supposed to acknowledge those things when you're actually there. But word on the street is that Hotel Figueroa is haunted. There's a lot of noises going on in there for sure. I said all kinds of prayers last night before I went to sleep. I don't know how many times I said Jesus last night. 
I was even calling upon the prayers of my grandmother who prayed over me while she was alive. Like those prayers are still covering me. So I wasn't too nervous about it. But let's just say it's a lot of energy in that place. I don't know. Maybe just because someone said it, like it's like in the back of my mind. But it's an old hotel and it does make a lot of noises. I don't know y'all. The food is bomb though. So anywho, I'm thinking about checking out. But I might say, I don't know. You think I should check out? She said she don't think it's that serious. I was a little nervous last night when I was trying to sleep. But I'm also the scariest person you'll ever be. Like, she I wouldn't come stay with me last night, y'all. I texted her, I was like, oh, you should come and stay. She's like, I'm already in my night clothes. I, I wasn't ready and then when you first We're bonded on, first of all. Yeah. She said, I can come stay here, y'all. So I don't know, I might check out today. I come stay here, I don't know. Anywho, we gotta go to the post office. And then I think we're gonna go look at some more fabric. And then I'm gonna take you guys shopping, maybe. Hopefully, we'll, I'll be able to go to this store I wanna go to today. Y'all, she wanted me to ride a scooter. It's fine. I said no. We gonna walk today. <laughs> I'll be that one person who died from one of these. Not, not a trip and fall, a death. <laughs> death.
welcome to a brand new day of the la vlog today is thursday july i want to say it's 22nd but y'all i don't really know as you can see i'm in a new location literally yesterday night when i got back to hotel figueroa i just packed up my stuff and i left y'all and i came back to the one the only the line hotel in koreatown this is usually where i stay and it kind of worked out because i wanted to be in downtown la close to the fashion district so that sanji and i could have a good amount of time to just look around at all of the fabric stores pretty much that's all we did yesterday after we spent uh, an incredible amount of time looking at fabrics and it was dumb hot in LA yesterday we ended up going to the Ace Hotel's rooftop it's called upstairs it's very beautiful up there very like Tulum vibes up there with like little cushions and trees and little lanterns you just sit out there on a rooftop looking at all of downtown LA where we got uh, some drinks they had a happy hour there and also we got a salad I got some tacos those were actually delicious some car carnitas delicious and then we just kind of went back to her place and kind of reviewed what we had decided on I think we went ahead and narrowed down the fabrics we're choosing for every piece of the collection um, it looks amazing we're finalizing everything today so it wasn't imperative for me to be in downtown LA anymore because we're kind of basically done and now we're just looking at some extra things so she actually might come pick me up later and we might go to like some accessories places so I could not stay at Hotel Figueroa no more y'all like I got a vibe there like I'm I, I got a vibe okay i could not stay there <laughs> any longer like i barely slept the first night so i checked out and i came to the line hotel last night and it just feels better <laughs> the energy here feels nice and light i have this beautiful view of the hollywood hill sign outside of my window and like staying at the line is always a good look because i love their restaurant open air they also have um a great coffee shop downstairs i ordered myself some room service this morning i just got some pancakes eggs and some bacon and some coffee and some juice took a shower got myself together by the way the lip is nars mysterious red this top you would have seen in a farfetch haul it's from the brand danielle guizio from farfetch it is like super duper cute if it's still available i'll link it down below and i think i do have a coupon code at farfetch it is yt10 monroe all capital letters i'll put it down in the, des the description box next to the link for this top i'm wearing a medium the shorts are the infamous alexander wang denim flutter shorts that you guys love so much i've worn these so many times on instagram every time i wear them i get so many compliments these are sold out but they do have a really wonderful dupe at walmart and the dupe is like less than 20 bucks i believe and it also goes up to like a 4x so if you're interested in these super cute little shorts like a great knockoff version of them i'll link them down below and you guys can check it out so it's about one o'clock i think what i'm gonna do is head downstairs and get myself a coffee another one because your girl your girl needs it i had a night y'all I had a night like I can't talk to y'all about it but I had a night I'm gonna get a coffee and I want to go to like a few vintage stores just to see what they have like I would like to do a little window browsing shopping and then I think I'm gonna head back here and hopefully meet up with Sanji at I want to say about two or three for the shoe I think I'm gonna go with these today because they're fairly low and they're very comfortable these are the Gia um, Pernil test back mules from uh farfetch and these are the only three pairs of shoes i bought so these go pretty well though let's take a little look see sorry i'm backlit so you can barely see me but this is the look for today i might change it to some jeans i'm not sure
morning guys it is friday july 23rd yesterday i had a really good day i ended up going to reformation vintage i wanted to look at some of their vintage jeans and some of their like pre-owned luxury bags and such they didn't actually really have much i was looking for i think it's called moonlight vintage that has a little pre-owned luxury section in reformation but the selection online is definitely bigger than the selection in store i ended up trying on a pair of vintage levi's that i mean they were cute but they looked just like the jeans i had on yesterday which were the a goldie balloon shaped jeans i'll link those down below didn't really find anything there so i ended up going to decades which is a very well known like luxury consignment boutique it is stunning in there i looked at a few chanel pieces i looked at a little bit of their jewelry and bags just the way the store is set up it's actually two levels top and bottom so cool like going up these like leopard print stairs and the way they have everything kind of set up on the second floor is really cool i didn't really see anything that tickled my fancy so i just ended up coming back to the hotel relaxing a bit before sanji picked me up and we had an early dinner which was great we went to this place called labrera i believe it is an italian restaurant they have pizzas there they have pasta they have meats as well we ended up going with some kind of zucchini flour which was just delicious it was the best zucchini i've ever had in my life they like gently i think fry it and they stuff it with something that's delicious so we had that for our starter and then we shared a prosciutto pizza which y'all know i love prosciutto and i love arugula and then we also shared a lamb dish and the lamb was cooked to perfection it had some couscous as well it was really delicious we had a ton of drinks and we just talked about everything y'all we had a really good time last night and she dropped me off and then i just kind of relaxed for the rest of the evening it's about nine 17 i actually just posted a sponsor post that i'm doing with hudson jeans so if you're watching and you want to show a little support on that sponsor post go ahead and head over and double tap that photo drop me three red hearts to let me know you came from this video but i thought it was a really cool concept they sent me two pair of jeans so i kind of did like a which one do you like better styled exactly the same way just two different pairs of jeans so everyone is seeming to like pair two it's giving me very 90s vibes definitely go check them out if you're looking for like denim inspiration for summer so i need to get ready because i'm going to go meet my girl kelly it's me kelly b i met her the last time i was here as well we're gonna have breakfast because she needs a little bit of help with a platform that a lot of influencers use to get affiliate marketing links so i just want to help her with that she asked me about it a few days ago let me show you my outfit of the day these earrings are from nasty gal i believe this top is from a black owned business from the archive you would have seen me get this probably a few weeks ago when i went to the black bed kind of like street fair that they have in brooklyn every weekend or every sunday this is the kimberly jones tee and i really like it it's very cozy it really has that vintage feel i'm wearing the same shorts from yesterday that i didn't actually end up wearing but these are the alexander wang shorts there is a dupe at Walmart. I will link it down below. I will also link this shirt. All of these shirts that I have from the from the Archive brand are all a size medium. Gonna carry my same Brandon Blackwood denim bag. Gonna throw on my Chanel's. My new Chanel sandals have all of the same colors, like these purples, blues, kind of orangey. Actually, I need to put some lotion on my legs. And then I'm gonna call an Uber because I'm supposed to meet Kelly at Republic restaurant at 9 30 so i'm already running late y'all so republic we met there the last time i was in la if you watch my previous la vlog that went live at the end of may and so i'm looking forward to it because they have really good desserts but the restaurant gets super busy after like 10 so if you can get in before 10 you definitely have a place to sit and eat and also you have your pick of the litter when it kind of comes to all of the desserts that they create there i'm definitely gonna buy a ton of desserts and maybe take some back to sanji because we're gonna go look at some accessories today to see if we can incorporate any accessories into the fall line for spring summer we did sunglasses and they did really really well 
we did four pair of like oversized square sunglasses in yellow white black and like a, a tortoise brown we don't really feel like sunglasses would do well in the fall or winter but let us know like would you guys buy sunglasses in during the fall season i feel like maybe not so we're trying to expand and find something else that can kind of take the place of that all right guys i'm gonna get my bag together call my uber and i'm gonna take you guys with me I'm gonna pop you in my purse by the way the sun sets here at the Lion Hotel, make sure you get the Hollywood Hills view because the sunsets at night are just magical. All right, let me get my life together and let's go. Alright guys, back like I never left, just left Kelly's, had a good time with her. Now we're back here to do some whack, barely. Alright guys, so we're tasting these desserts that I got from Republic. I got the banana caramel cream pie and also, because I'm extra greedy, I also got the, what is this? Pumpkin? What is it? No, Carrot cake? Carrot cake. I ate the cookie I had earlier and it was delicious. So far, she said it's delightful. It's so good. It's like a hint of like orange, like in the. Mmm. 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 Look, Taurus's love food. Like, mm -hmm. that's the way to our hearts for real. Hey, hey y'all, it's been a while. What are you wearing? I'm wearing a Gucci tee with a something by Sanji skirt. This is old. It's so cute. And some Vans. You know the vibes. This is the Cali vibes. On the move, guys. On the move. Off. You know, you got your Don Julio. Oh, Jesus. This is the kind of relationship you gotta have with your power people. 132? You're extra small, man. Get off of there. 131? No, I gotta bring it down about five. So we're in this massive store now looking at trims. All kinds of trims. Trims for you, trims for me, trims for everybody. There's so much. You got a little something for everybody. 